you won't make it as a professional footballer. Here's why. You will never become a professional footballer. Most players don't want to hear this, but it's true. Every player wants to trust that if I believe in this dream hard enough, it will materialize. But this is simply not the case. There are very few sports as accessible as football. Anyone can pick up a ball, have two makeshift goals, and start playing. This is in fact how most professionals got started. But to become a professional athlete in any sport, it takes more than just hard work and belief. You need to ask yourself, do I truly have what it takes? Am I good enough? Am I ready to sacrifice a lot of things to achieve my dream? In this video, we will dive deep into why most players will never play professionally and how you could improve your chances. But before starting this video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updated when we drop a video. We will make more videos on pro sports and athletes, so lace them up and let's get started. Passion for the sport is what will set you apart from the competition. This statement is mostly incorrect. Most players who aspire to play professional football are passionate about the sport. We own and operate a football academy and the biggest difference between amateurs with ambition and professional footballers is their football education. Look at it from this perspective. If you had a company and you had two people applying for the same job, applicant one having studied at Harvard and applicant two only having a high school diploma, you being in charge are more likely to sway towards the Harvard graduate. We understand that an academy like Chelsea, Ajax, or Benfica are not accessible for most players. However, you should try to bridge the gap by playing up in the highest level available to you, as well as using different services like video analysis, tactical coaches, nutritionists, and many more. That leads us into the next point. Professional footballers train at least four to five times a week on the pitch, two to three times in the gym, and a minimum of one match every week. This is excluding additional time spent on data and performance analysis. Being an amateur, it is likely that you only train between one to three times a week followed by a game. To give yourself the best chance of still achieving your dream, you should think of ways to invest more time into your training. Just adding a couple more hours of training in a week is a good start. To take this to another level, think about working with sports scientists, athletic trainers, and football coaches. If you are from a first world country, these extra services should be relatively affordable. Most coaches can make you tailor-made plans online. And if you have Stat Sports, Catapult, or Playmaker GPS kit, it will allow sports scientists to track your progress without being there with you. Additionally, you should think about joining a private academy that will provide these services should you have one in your vicinity. In case you live in a country where such means may not be accessible to you, there are always cheaper alternatives like Fiverr or LinkedIn. Furthermore, you can always do your own research to find ways to improve. Watching this video and subscribing to our channel is a great first step. Another reason why you most likely won't make it is that you most likely don't play at a high enough level to get the exposure that you need. Playing for your local amateur club is good fun, but clubs don't usually scout players in these types of matches unless you are scoring 50 goals a season and are in the newspapers often. Whether you believe that you are good enough to play professionally, the best thing you could do is to play with and against high-level players. That way, when you make a highlight reel of yourself to send off to clubs and scouts, it is easier to evaluate your talent as opposed to playing well against overweight opponents who will get drunk after the game. Most scouts and managers are more interested in seeing how intelligent you are as a footballer. They look out for attributes like movement off the ball, positioning, and decision-making. Furthermore, the older a player gets, the less likely said player will become a footballer. The older a player gets, the less the clubs look at your potential. If you were an unassigned 27-year-old striker but had the playing ability of Mbappe, any club in Europe would be looking to sign you. This, however, is severely unlikely. There are, of course, exceptions, like Junior Messias at AC Milan, and more famously, Jamie Vardy for Leicester City. Their journeys could be considered Cinderella-esque. However, most people forget that they were still playing at near-professional levels on top of having played youth team football at Cruzeiro and Sheffield Wednesday, respectively. That being said, your dream isn't dead. As long as you are able to dedicate more time into your craft, there will always be a chance of becoming successful. Now, 
after just taking a massive dump on your dreams and telling you that it will be alright. I will now tell you about ways you can massively increase your chances to make it. The most important change you can make is to become a specialist. It's good to be able to do most things on the football pitch. However, managers prefer to have players that will fill a certain role. For example, being a wingback that is amazing at attacking but not as good defensively isn't always a problem. Good managers will find a way to effectively use such a player to his disposal. Being versatile is never a bad thing, but look at your strengths and figure out what role you are best suited to in certain positions and work at that. In the end, you should be able to describe your game in a few words. Next, learn to make sacrifices. The road to success can be a lonely one filled with blood, sweat, and tears. Be ready to give up most of your social life. In order to be a pro, you should live like a pro. Fix your diet. Skip that party the night before a game and get some sleep. Avoid alcohol and take your recovery between training and games serious. All in all, if you maintain belief that you have the ability and potential to play professional football, put the time, money, and effort into making it a reality. Only after doing this will you have a better chance of making it. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons, subscribe to our channel, and share the video to someone who needs it. If you found the video useful and would like to see more of these kinds of videos, please leave suggestions down in the comments below, and we will see you at the next video. Take care until then. Keep working.